Hey, DeMarvin. Uh, I'm curious. I, I asked uh, Jaden this too, but was there sort of a point early in the season or in the off season when you kind of realized that this defense potentially had the chance to be really special? Oh, no question. Uh, in the off season, definitely when we were running and we were all working out together during the whole COVID situation, we had a uh, I just took a step back and just thought about like all the dominant players that we have and just was like, sheesh, this defense might could be something else. You know, so obviously recruiting plays a part in it, but I mean, what do you guys do, especially in that front seven to kind of, you know, just have so many guys have everybody always be ready and kind of have the performance that you guys have? Uh, we talk to each other, we encourage each other, and we compete all the time during workouts, during practice, getting to the ball, Strip, stripping the ball, making the turnovers uh, during practice. We just, we just come together. We've came a lot closer than the past years, and we decided like, instead of just having the starters step up, why not we have everybody? Why not have those that are behind us be prepared to play? Because I was once in that situation, and those like Michael Clemens, Jaden PV, Justin Matt Bouquet, Bobby Brown had helped me be able to prepare during practice. All right, let's go to Pranav. Pranav is next. Uh, this is kind of along the lines of that question, but how do you think playing in the SEC and playing in very competitive games in the last two years have helped you kind of prepare for this game that's coming up on Saturday? It's definitely helped my experience, and it's it's been great. And I just love being able to play in the SEC and playing against the level of competition. It just helps me raise my confidence and just everything that I, I have to do with that football. Before the season, Jimbo praised you. And then just a couple of minutes ago, your defensive coordinator praised you. Why, why do coaches seem to really like you a lot? Uh, I just try to do what they tell me to do, honestly. Just try to stay doing my 110 and to at least make sure they don't yell at me all the time. Thanks to Marvin. All right, let's move to Gabe Bach from Texags, and then we'll go Zach Taylor. To that point, though, DeMarvin, it's hard to find your value just on a stat sheet. You put the film on, you can really see it or just watch the games. What what about your game uh, adds so much value well beyond the stat sheet? I would say the the love of the love for football that I have. It drives me every single day. When I get on the field, it's like a, a click just goes off. And it's it's time. It's time to tune in. It's time to get after it. What do you think? I asked uh, PV the same question. What do you think's been the number one ingredient to AM's consistency and slowing down and stopping the run over multiple years here under Elko? I would say it starts in practice. I say that going against offense, good on good, has definitely like you know iron sharpens iron. So that that helped that helped us, that helped them, and it was just that beneficial like. Um, Dang, I can't think of the word, but it was it definitely helped going against good going good on good versus offense. It helped us prepare. It helped us believe in ourselves. Thanks, All right, let's go. Let's go to Zach Taylor from Brian Broadcasting and then Owen Buchanan. Yeah, to Marvin, uh, with you guys coming into this game, just missing out on the college football playoff, and uh, I know with uh, the all SEC selections and stuff, it left quite a few players out. Do you guys feel like you have? Anything to prove coming into this bowl game? Oh, there's a lot to prove, but this is strictly about the game, and it's time to just show what we are, who we are, and who we want to be looking forward. When you guys uh, come into a game like this against a team from another conference, do you feel like you're representing, I don't know, the SEC at all, or does that even come to mind? Uh, to, for me, it didn't come to mind until you just said it, honestly, but – I'm just thinking about getting after it. And definitely we as a team, we just want to have, like we have our chance to prove what everybody thinks we don't have. Thanks. Next up is Owen McCannon from Texags and then Justin Woodard. Yeah, a couple of quick things to Marvin. First of all, um, Jason, uh, the uh, all SEC team, what was your reaction when that came out and after having such a good year when, when they snubbed you, which doesn't seem to make sense, but your reaction? Uh, my reaction, I seen all my teammates on there and was just proud of them. And I know all the hard work that they've put in and just was, I was more excited for them than myself. Were you mad at all? I mean, things happen. 
you know, I, I, I know that I come from a place where everything isn't just given, it, ha it has to be taken. So with that being said, I was just happy for my teammates and just and congratulated them. And uh, so your thoughts uh, on Sam Howell, I haven't watched tape of him play and if he reminds you of anybody else y'all played. Wait, say that again? Uh, your thoughts on the North Carolina quarterback, Sam Howell, and uh, since you've you know been watching him and what do you think of him and does he remind you of anybody else you played? I wouldn't say he reminds it, reminds me of anybody that we've played, but what I can say is that he is a unique QB and he does have a good arm. He does decide to run it when he has the chance, when it's given to him. So just being able to stop him is going to be a major key. Thank you very much. All right, let's move to Justin Woodard from KAGS and then John Wilson. Marvin, not so much on your side of the ball. I know you got more veterans on that side, but we are till, to, still today talking to you and Damani sophomores and then we talked to Anais and Isaiah yesterday so you're having all the success with a lot of sophomores contributing how cool is that, that that you're stepping up already and then the future is still bright for the Aggies oh it's amazing just being able to come in and be able to instantly put an impact on this program and continue it during the sophomore season is just fantastic and it just tells you how much they praise on the next man up. And it doesn't matter how old you are, or if you're a veteran or not, everybody's important and everybody can step up to help the program be better. What do you, what do you attribute to making that freshman to sophomore jump? And, and how do you make it another jump, so to speak, next year? I just say, just continue doing what we're doing, continue communicating, continue pushing and competing with each other and everything, good, everything else would just fall, fall in line. All right, let's move to John Wilson from KBTX and then Brenton Zornerman. Marvin, when you've looked at the North Carolina offense as a whole, what challenges will they present and, and what will you guys have to do to be able to slow them down? I would definitely say we definitely don't have to stop the run. They do have a big, big offensive linemen and definitely would have to stop that. And they do love, you know, taking their chances on a big play. So just being able to stick to our keys is going to be is going to be major. Coach Elko said that this could be a game where you have to win one-on-one -on -one battles. Has he expressed that to you? And, and do you like that challenge? Yes, sir. I do. Thank you. All right, let's go to Brenton Swerman from the Houston Chronicle and then a follow-up from Shehan. Marvin, going back to your recruiting process, what was it that first stood out to you about Coach Elko and said you wanted to play for him? And in that time you've been here, the couple years, what's one or two of the main things you've learned from him in that time? Coach Elko had definitely, he has showed me like is what he wanted the defense to be like and like what his plans for it was. And I knew that from talking to him that he was definitely going to challenge me mentally and physically. And he was definitely going to be one of those coaches that wants the best out of you every single day. So with that being said, I was just, I actually fell in love with the way he had uh, had the defense set up. And so I just went with it. I loved it, and I have since then. Was there some example from that first couple of conversations or something where he was pointing that out that you remember and said, that's what I want to be part of? Uh, strong side end when he had showed me, like, his little tape up from when he was at Notre Dame and uh, the weight and the size of the defensive end and, like, what they would be doing from play in, play out. I just – I just love the way it had all sound, and <laughs> it definitely has uh, shown off. Okay, thank you. All right, we'll wrap it up with Marvin with Shehan. Follow up. Hey, Marvin. Uh, kind of what people were asking about, but um, you know, how do you guys, as individuals, measure success? Because you know, you guys don't have a you know a fifteen sack guy. You don't have a hundred tackle guy. Um, you know, how do you, as an individual, measure success? Measure success when my team has success. When we're able to stop the stop the offense and the offense able to get down there and score, I feel like that's that's how I measure my success. When my team's when my team's successful, I'm successful. You know, for for defensive linemen, you know, especially for DNs, I know that sort of those big numbers are sometimes the things that people give attention to. Uh, you, you know, are you okay? you know, not getting the all SECs if it means that your team performance has been that special? I mean, when it comes to that, I, 
I did have a problem with it, but at the same time, I have to think about the big picture. It's more than just me. It's about the whole team. It's about everybody who comes together to make an impact on this program. So just with that being what it is, I just had to go along with it and just All right, that's all the questions we have for you, DeMarvin. Appreciate Thank it. You.